Hi, my name is Pastor Jerry Ingalls from First Baptist Church in Newcastle, Indiana, and we are on a journey together. We're studying the Bible one chapter at a time. I'm writing a short devotional thought on each chapter, and I'm sharing those with you. Today, we're looking at Nehemiah chapter 1. Nehemiah was the cupbearer of Artaxerxes, the king of Persia, a position of great trust and significant honor due to its proximity to the king. You can learn that in Nehemiah chapter 1, verse 11, and chapter 2, verses 1 through 8. Like Daniel, he flourished in captivity, which speaks volumes about his character and his competency. We experience Nehemiah's faith when he received disturbing reports coming out of Jerusalem of its broken walls and burned gates. He responded in Nehemiah chapter 1, verse 4, when I heard these words, I sat down and wept and mourned for days, and I was fasting and praying before the God of heaven. Nehemiah chapter 1 verses 5 through 11 records Nehemiah's brokenness before God as he humbly fasted and fervently prayed. He took on the mantle of responsibility for his people and faithfully confessed the sins of Israel as if those sins were his very own. Quote, on behalf of the sons of Israel, your servants, confessing the sins of the sons of Israel, which we have sinned against you, I and my father's house have sinned. That's Nehemiah speaking in verse 6. His heart was broken for what broke God's heart. And he lamented over Jerusalem. In verse 9, he cried out for God to respond accordingly to his covenant faithfulness by invoking his ancient promises, specifically Deuteronomy 30 verses 1 through 4. If we want to see God do in us today what he did through Nehemiah in his day, we must start in the same place, with a broken heart over sin and the consequences of our sin in the world today. Like Nehemiah, God can place you in just the right spot to see his power move in and through you. God is looking for faithful people whom he can use for such a time as this. Seize the moment and cry out to God. And I quote Nehemiah chapter 1 verse 11. O Lord, I beseech you, may your ear be attentive to the prayer of your servant and the prayer of your servants who delight to revere your name and make your servant successful today and grant him compassion before this man. Seize the moment.